Jared Decker. An animal science assistant professor at the University of Missouri says, quote, The key to maintaining a vibrant and sustainable beef industry is continually adopting new technology, unquote. On February 5th this year, the American Angus Association launched a research-expected progeny difference for hair shedding. In development since 2011, the research EPD has been brought to fruition through the collaboration of the American Angus Association, Angus Genetics Incorporated, Mississippi State University, North Carolina State University, and the University of Missouri. It's a really exciting time that the Angus Association has launched this new research hair shedding EPD. Hair shedding is a trait that we record in late spring, early summer, and it's a measure of how much of the winter hair coat, so that dead, dry winter hair, has the cow shed off as summer begins. And so that score is on a one to five scale. One means that she's completely shed off, there's no dead winter hair on her, and five means that she still has her complete winter coat. Genetics Service Director at Angus Genetics Incorporated, Kelly Ritalik, explains this EPD provides value throughout the country, no matter which region your ranch is located. So when we talk about where is this EPD really the most useful, I think obviously it's the most useful in areas where producers are in heat stress regions, they have to basically deal with really high temperatures or they have fescue in their pastures. But I think even the guys to building bulls or breeding bulls to send to the south, it's probably a pretty good tool to look at. If you're sending a northern bull, let's say from Montana or North Dakota down to a southern region, we want to make sure he can shut off, adapt, and really create progeny that can adapt to that environment too. I think another great opportunity that we could think about is we export a lot of semen and this might be a really good um, area for us to be able to use in some of those other climates that we're not so used to seeing in the United States. While some of those areas are very similar to what we deal with here in the U.S., could open up other markets um, for our really good hair shedding individuals to go into those different markets. We've also looked at the calf's performance in Angus data, and what we see for every one point uh, improvement in the hair shedding score, we see a five pound improvement in the performance of the calf. And so between an early shedder and a late shedder, we would see about a 25 pound difference in those Angus calves, depending on the hair shedding score of their dams. Like any research EPD, the more data collected, the more accurate EPD is, and Angus breeders can help increase that level of accuracy today. So if we have producers out there that find this hair shedding uh, research and basically the hair shedding uh, kind of an issue in their area, they can start to collect scores on their own. Um, we've worked with our communications team as well as the University of Missouri and our AGI group to really put together some great materials to help you um, kind of focus on how do I collect those scores, what is the scoring system. Obviously, you're going to want to score those cattle when it's optimal time for you. In a lot of these regions, mid-May to early June is kind of the prime region because that's when our cattle are really starting to shed off. And you want to capture those scores when there's the most variability in those, those hair shedding coats. And so once you collect that data, we actually have it set up through what our members use for their data exchange with the association, AAA login, where they can actually report that data to the association. Visit Angus.org for more information and education on the new hair shedding EPD. And don't forget to subscribe to the American Angus Association YouTube channel, Angus TV, for more news and education. I'm Bob Cervera.